I do. I, I'm actually like a football supporter, and I used to love the old Romanian team. I used to follow you guys. Is that is a Romanian? Haji, back in He's the day? as Romanian as it gets. Bro, and I used to play FIFA, and you guys were the best team. I'm <laughs> basically Romanian. <laughs> Thank like. you. Well, welcome home. It's good to be back. <laughs> I have always wanted to play this festival, man, and I've, I've just heard so many things about this crowd. I love Eastern Europe. I love Europe. I think you guys are mental, and I'm mental, so it's like, we're, I feel like we're already family. Armin's are playing here tonight, and Armin told me personally, this is one of his favorite shows of the whole year. He, he loves you guys, uh, and you know, that, I think that's what set it off for me, that I had to come here. You know, he's, he's a friend of mine, but he's also like an, an idol of mine. I think I like I just play what I love, and I think music is just a it's 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 just an emotion, and I I feel like whenever I'm getting up on stage, I'm just trying to deliver something that people haven't heard before. I used to love jazz music. I used to play classical music in the Sydney Symphony Orchestra, you know. But what I do now is shock people by giving them something they haven't heard before. If you come to one of my shows, you you are either going to be repulsed and leave angry or you're going to be invigorated and be like completely emotionally changed. I'm not going to deliver something that you expect. I feel like music is just noise and I'm trying to create any kind of sound that will emotionally and physically uh, violate your expectations. I need to completely change and that, that's what I love about it. I love, I'm addicted to connecting with people and making them experience something they haven't heard before. You know, people say jazz music, classical music, dance music. It's either good music or bad music. And for me, I'm only playing what I love. I think there's business related to everything, you know, and I think these days it's it's a lot to do with uh, marketing, you know, like social media and all these other things. And I'm just very fortunate. I've got a great team that are helping me out. You know, we got lots of merch that are available. We got our own range of trumpets, which are about to come out. This is your custom Timmy Trumpet trumpet. Uh, you can you can get online uh, very soon. Look, that's a new thing we've just incorporated in the show, man. It's it's it's. Uh, I I I feel like um, our show is very aggressive. You know, um, I, like I said, you I started with jazz music and now I'm writing hardstyle music. I I love anything that just just makes you feel. And at the moment, hardstyle is something that I really just kind of. I've just become attuned to at the moment since so it's grabbed my attention. Psytrance was something I got onto around about four or five years ago, and um, it's now commercial. You know, even Armin's brought out a, a Psytrance wrist. It's really cool. I actually don't think I'm in control of my own decisions in life. I feel like you just, all of us are just kind of growing and enjoying. Even even the, the, the tracks that you write, everything you think that you're writing is just actually everything you've already heard before. It, I think that's how I stay healthy, because I, en I enjoy it. I think what's wrong is a lot of DJs aren't enjoying it. And I think you should never do anything in life you don't enjoy. I love drinking, and I love partying, and I love music, so I just put my life into that. I mean, I drink a lot. I'm drinking this is vodka Red Bull, but I never go on stage without a, a, a couple of shots of tequila. My mum has a glass of red wine every night. She believes, she's, she's a nurse, not a, like a doctor, but she's a, been a nurse her whole life. She thinks it keeps your heart healthy. Um, but for me, it's not just, I like red wine, I love tequila, I love vodka, anything that just, like, it, I think alcohol has been around for a long time. And for me, I, I think it really helps, uh, especially creatively, and I like to, as a jazz musician, I like to improvise, invent things on the spot, and I don't know, sometimes it occasionally helps me do things. I actually can't remember the last 10 minutes of the Tomorrowland set. And I'm, I'm quite an open person, man. I always like, you've probably got this vibe. I, I just say it how it is. My untold story is everything that comes out of my mouth. <laughs> I like, I can't, it, there's no filter here. I'm just saying exactly what I'm thinking and it's beautiful. And, and that maybe that's why I'm so happy. You know? There's nothing to hold back on. Sure. If there is one piece of advice or one thing that maybe I should say that maybe hasn't been said, it's that the one thing that I know for sure is I don't know anything for sure. <laughs> Thank you.